For months, we've been told that quantum computers will revolutionize everything. Solve climate change, cure diseases, break all encryption. But what if we've been wrong? New research from leading quantum physicists reveals a fundamental flaw that could limit quantum computers far more than anyone imagined. The problem isn't technical. It's built into the laws of physics themselves. As quantum computers get bigger and more powerful, they don't just get better, they get exponentially more unstable. Scientists are discovering that the very properties that make quantum computers powerful also make them fundamentally limited. The quantum revolution we've been promised might be hitting a wall that no amount of engineering can overcome. The question isn't whether quantum computers will change the world, it's whether they can work at all. This is Click Future, where your future is a click away. Today we're examining the fatal flaw that could limit quantum computing and why the quantum revolution might be more hype than reality. To understand the significance of quantum computing's fundamental limitations, we need to examine the extraordinary claims that have been made about this technology. Over the past five years, quantum computing has been presented as the solution to humanity's greatest challenges. Companies like IBM, Google, and Microsoft have invested billions promising quantum computers that will revolutionize drug discovery, solve climate change, and break all current encryption. The hype has driven massive investment. Quantum computing companies have raised over $25 billion in funding with valuations reaching astronomical levels. Governments worldwide have committed hundreds of billions to quantum research programs. Google's quantum supremacy claim in 2019, followed by similar announcements from other companies, suggested that quantum computers were on the verge of solving real-world problems. But these demonstrations solved artificial problems designed specifically for quantum computers. Despite billions in investment and years of research, quantum computers still cannot solve a single real-world problem better than classical computers. The gap between promise and reality has grown wider, not narrower. Now, leading scientists are questioning whether quantum computing can ever deliver on its promises. New research reveals fundamental limitations that could prevent quantum computers from achieving practical quantum advantage. The fatal flaw in quantum computing isn't an engineering problem that can be solved. It's a fundamental limitation imposed by the laws of quantum mechanics themselves. Quantum computers rely on quantum superposition and entanglement. The same properties that make them powerful also make them incredibly fragile. Any interaction with the environment destroys quantum states, causing errors that accumulate exponentially. Research published in Physics World reveals that as quantum computers scale up, error rates don't just increase linearly, they explode exponentially. A quantum computer with 1,000 qubits doesn't have 1,000 times more errors than a 1 qubit system. It has millions of times more errors. Quantum error correction, the proposed solution to this problem, requires enormous overhead. To create one logical error-corrected qubit, current systems need thousands of physical qubits. A useful quantum computer would need millions or billions of physical qubits. IBM's most ambitious roadmap calls for 200 logical qubits by 2028, but this would require over 200,000 physical qubits operating with near precision. Current systems have error rates that are orders of magnitude too high to achieve this goal. Even if error correction could work perfectly, quantum computers face thermodynamic limits. The energy required to maintain quantum coherence in large systems approaches the energy output of power plants, making practical quantum computers economically unfeasible. Quantum coherence times, how long quantum states can be maintained, impose strict limits on computation time. Complex problems require longer computation times than quantum systems can maintain coherence. 
creating a fundamental barrier to practical applications. The limitations of quantum computing aren't speculative. They're documented in peer-reviewed research by leading quantum physicists and computer scientists. Dr. Mikhail Dyanikov, a renowned quantum physicist, has argued that quantum computers are fundamentally limited by the exponential growth of quantum errors. His analysis suggests that useful quantum computers may be physically impossible to build. IBM's own research inadvertently reveals the limitations. Their quantum roadmaps show that achieving fault-tolerant quantum computing requires technological advances that may not be possible within the laws of physics. Research from MIT, Harvard, and other leading institutions consistently shows that quantum computers face fundamental barriers that cannot be overcome through engineering improvements alone. The gap between theoretical quantum computing capabilities and practical implementations continues to widen. Problems that should be solvable by quantum computers remain beyond the reach of current and planned systems. Major quantum computing companies have quietly extended their timelines and reduced their claims. What were once promises of revolutionary breakthroughs within years have become vague projections of potential advantages in decades. The investment community is beginning to recognize these limitations. Quantum computing funding has plateaued, and several high-profile quantum startups have failed to deliver on their promises, leading to investor skepticism. The fundamental flaw in quantum computing manifests in several specific technical barriers that appear insurmountable with current understanding of physics. Quantum computers require qubits to interact with each other, but increasing connectivity increases error rates exponentially. Systems with full qubit connectivity, necessary for many quantum algorithms, may be physically impossible to build. Quantum gates must operate with 99.99% fidelity or higher for error correction to work. Current manufacturing techniques cannot achieve this precision consistently, and the required precision may exceed what's physically possible. Reading quantum states destroys them, requiring indirect measurement techniques that introduce additional errors. These measurement errors accumulate throughout quantum computations, limiting the complexity of problems that can be solved. Classical computers are improving faster than quantum computers. Advanced classical algorithms and specialized hardware are solving problems that were supposed to require quantum computers, reducing the potential quantum advantage. Quantum computers require near absolute zero temperatures and complete isolation from electromagnetic interference. These requirements become exponentially more difficult to maintain as systems scale up, imposing practical limits on quantum computer size. As evidence of quantum computing's fundamental limitations becomes undeniable, the industry has shifted from making bold promises to managing expectations and controlling damage. Major quantum computing companies have quietly revised their timelines and reduced their claims. IBM's quantum roadmap now focuses on quantum utility rather than quantum advantage, acknowledging that revolutionary breakthroughs may not be achievable. The industry is pivoting to hybrid systems that combine classical and quantum computing, effectively admitting that pure quantum computers cannot solve real-world problems independently. Companies are narrowing their focus to highly specialized applications where quantum computers might have marginal advantages, abandoning claims about revolutionary general-purpose quantum computing. Venture capital investment in quantum computing has plateaued as investors recognize the fundamental limitations. Several high-profile quantum startups have failed or pivoted to classical computing solutions. Leading academic researchers are increasingly acknowledging quantum computing's limitations in peer-reviewed publications, moving away from the hype that characterized earlier research.
While quantum computing faces fundamental limitations, it's important to consider alternative perspectives and potential breakthrough scenarios. Some researchers argue that new approaches, topological quantum computing, photonic quantum systems, or novel error correction schemes could overcome current limitations. However, these approaches face their own fundamental challenges. Quantum computers might achieve advantages in highly specialized applications, quantum simulation, certain optimization problems, or cryptographic applications, even if they cannot revolutionize general computing. Long-term research might discover new quantum phenomena or computational approaches that overcome current limitations. However, such breakthroughs would require fundamental advances in our understanding of quantum mechanics. Revolutionary technologies often take decades to mature. Classical computers faced similar skepticism in their early development, and quantum computing might eventually overcome its current limitations through sustained research and development. Scientific skepticism is essential for technological progress. Acknowledging quantum computing's limitations doesn't diminish the importance of quantum research. It ensures that resources are allocated effectively and expectations remain realistic. The discovery of quantum computing's fundamental limitations doesn't end the quantum revolution. It grounds it in scientific reality. Quantum computers may never revolutionize general computing, but they could still contribute to scientific research, specialized optimization, and our understanding of quantum mechanics. The key is managing expectations and focusing on achievable goals. Understanding quantum computing's limitations is crucial for making informed decisions about research funding, investment, and technological development. The quantum revolution may be more evolution than revolution, and that's perfectly acceptable. Quantum computing's fatal flaw doesn't end the story. It begins a more realistic chapter. Understanding both the potential and limitations of emerging technologies is crucial for navigating our technological future. If you want honest, balanced analysis of emerging technologies without the hype, subscribe to Click Future and hit that notification bell. We're committed to separating technological reality from marketing promises. Your future is a click away.